hey guys welcome back to my channel so today i have for you this purple smoky graduation look with a nude lip and i wanted to do this because i saw uh some pictures on instagram of people starting to take like um their graduation pictures and i know that time is coming up for a lot of people whether you're graduating high school or college i think this look is perfect for graduation day i haven't really seen many youtubers do like um a tutorial like makeup for graduation day basically so i really i wanted to do this for you guys and i hope you like it so without further ado let's get on to the tutorial like always i'm just priming my eyes with the tarte shape tape and I really need to use a different eye primer because this one, I feel like I've used it so many times now and we are, you guys are probably getting tired of me using it. So I really want to try the P. Louise um, eye base, I think it's called, but uh, I'm probably not going to get that one yet, but I, I definitely will be trying it in the future. So now that I primed my eyes, I'm first gonna, um, I'm going to use the Jaclyn Hill palette today. So I'm going to use this shade, which is called Pooter. I'm gonna use a Makeup Shack T59 brush and dip into Pooter and start tapping it onto my eye. And I'm going to tap it just a little above well along my crease basically um and above that but not too high so we can blend this out well next i'm just going to blend pooter with silk cream and that is this shade right here i'm just going to start in doing circular motions and i'm gonna be doing that little by little working in sections And honestly, I'm really just trying to get on that UK level blend because I see that they start with like a darker color first, not really the transition shade. And I've tried that with like some of my looks before, but and I haven't really shown that on camera, but that's because I... I'm really bad at doing shadow that way it's I've always known just how to do it one way and that's like that's all I've known ever since and then you know I started seeing all these UK makeup artists and so I started trying it myself but i still haven't i still need a lot of practice basically so i just decided to try it out today but with a little bit of a lighter color so if i messed up well first i did this eye in case i did mess up um and everything seemed to go fine so i'm starting to get the hang of it but I still need a lot of practice. Now that that's all blended out, I'm just gonna go back into Pooter. So next I'm going to be adding this shade, which is called Buns. So again, I'm just adding that all over my crease. I'm really packing that color on before I blend it out. And then I'm gonna pack some more on after blending it because when doing these types of looks it's really like all about the blending now i'm just going back with the brush i used to pooter with but i didn't add any extra product to really intensify the look i'm going to be dipping into this shade which is called soda pop and use a morphe m433 to start tapping on that shade which is just a deep purple shade. 
And for me, instead of adding the color on my lid first and then blending it out um, with the rest of the shadows on my crease, I like to add it on my crease first and blend it out because I find that to be easier for me. All I'm doing with the purple right now is adding a little more product and working in sections and just doing small circular motions, not too big because you don't want the purple to go all the way up you want there to be a nice gradient between each shade now i'm gonna go back into buns with my morphe m4 m514 i mean just blend the purple now i'm going back into soda pop to build up the purple so now that i build up the purple shadow as um, to my liking I'm just going to add some to my lid just all over my lid with the same brush I was just using I'm also just gonna go in with buns one more time just to make sure everything's blended well I'm going to put Hustle, which is this shade, all over my lid. So I'm just going to spray some Mario Badescu on a flat brush. Then dip my brush right into the shadow and start placing that on my lid. I did try tapping the product on, but I noticed that just... Uh, dragging it on worked better but keep in mind that you do get some well it depends on how much product you pick up on your brush but if you do pick up too much then you do get fallout so, fallout so keep that in mind right after I'm done applying it all over my lid I go back once more just to intensify the color once I'm done doing that, I just start sort of dragging it upwards because I don't really want a precise line. I want to blend this shadow onto Soda Pop. And once I finish doing that, I'm going to go back into the brush I use Soda Pop with, not adding any product, just blending both shades together. Once I finish blending the two shades, I'm just going to add some more of the Hustle shade. So I did my face off camera and that's because you guys have seen me do my face routine a bunch of times and I even have a full coverage uh, face routine on my channel so if you want to check that out I'll have a little um, card like up like on the top today I used I mixed two foundations and I used the Fenty Beauty Pro filter foundation and the Milani conceal and perfect two-in-one foundation and concealer in sand beige and the Fenty one is in 260 um, but this is a little too light for me um, but I just use it and just um if i use it by itself i just put some bronzer on and put it on my neck as well so it doesn't look too light or i just mix it with another foundation and i really like the finish it gave me it wasn't too matte but it did give me a full coverage and i really like that and then for bronzer and blush i just used the balms girls getaway trio which is what ha what i have been using lately and i really like this combo of these uh, three um, the bronzer and the two blushes and for highlight today I'm still not sure what I'm using I kind of I'm kind of thinking of just using an old OG which is the Jaclyn Hill champagne pop you guys see me use this mirror all the time like this thing's already kind of like like it just goes like this pretty easily but the highlighter is still good I 
and I'll blend that highlighter out right now so it doesn't look like I just have a stripe on my face I'm just going to put some on the rest of the high points of my face and I love highlighting my brow bone I feel like it gives it that lift and it just completes the eye makeup um, so before I continue to the under eyes, I'm going to set my eyebrow hairs in place using the Hourglass Arch Brow Volumizing Fiber Gel. So I like to start off with the shorter end of the wand first. And then go th through with the with the long side of the wand. So now with the Jaclyn Hill palette, I'm just going to start off with buns. And I'm using a Morphe E36 brush. With an e.l.f. smudge brush, I'm just going to apply the apply soda pop close to my lower lash line I'm going to start blending the bottom and also well first I brought it out to the inner corner instead of adding a lot of product there and then I'm going to blend the bottom finally I'm going to use the Pixie Endless Silky Eye Pen in Black Noir and I'm just going to apply that on my waterline. And now I'm just going to coat my lashes with the Luxum Big Tease Plumpy Mascara. For lips, I'm going to be using the Belle Pier Lips lipstick not lipstick lip liner in cinnamon so I'm going to line my lips first hello so for lips today I'm going to be using the Maybelline lipstick in nude embrace so this is the finished look I just I added some uh, makeup shack lashes in C the style sienna i think i forgot to mention that my bad and congratulations to everyone who is graduating this year i'm very happy for you and just keep in mind that you made it you made it through all the sleepless nights and all the studying and all the <laughs> breakdowns and all of that i'm very happy for you and congratulations once again i really like how this turned out and i hope you did too if you did please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and hit the bell button down below to be notified every time i upload don't forget to leave any video suggestions you have down in the comments and thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys i actually took a break well a break when I was doing half of this eye to go get yogurt so I only had half of one eye done and I really went out like that to get yogurt but I put on a hat and sunglasses and the Sun was like not even out anymore so people are looking at me crazy like but it was really good it was worth it <laughs>